Hey Logical listeners, I hope that you guys are ready to get real peaceful because today we're talking about a Department of Peace. A Department of Peace is of special interest to me because I am a peace worker, I am pursuing a master's degree in peace and conflict studies, and I genuinely want to see the establishment of more government agencies and more government employees whose whole careers are to find peaceful solutions to real problems that are plaguing our society and that are plaguing the planet. There are a lot of people who are just now engaging in politics who probably never heard of the idea of the establishment of a Department of Peace, but it's actually an idea that goes back to the very first days of our country's history. As early as the 1790s, there was a founding father named Dr. Benjamin Rush who was proposing a Department of Peace, though I'll be the first person to admit his idea of a Department of Peace is very different from what I would propose. Dr. Benjamin Rush was one of the people who signed the Declaration of Independence, and there were many declaration signers who do not get the historical coverage that they deserve and whose names aren't as well known as they could or even should be. He is one of them, but his ideas of an Department of Peace are very different from what mine would be because his conceptions of peacemaking and peacebuilding relied very heavily on Christianity. Dr. Benjamin Rush had a couple of criteria for the person that he would have selected to be the Secretary of Peace. One of those criteria was that the person be a Christian. Another one of the criteria or the components of a Department of Peace that he would have liked to see is that every American family had access to a taxpayer-funded edition of the Bible and that some form of religion was taught in schools with a preference towards Christianity because he viewed Christianity as a critical component of peacemaking and peace building. His envisionment of a Department of Peace would have also included areas that focused on making law enforcement be more susceptible to being held accountable, and also people who pushed for there to be less of an admi admiration of war and less of a rush to go to war. The reality is that his plan, at the very least in my mind, is a mixed bag, but when we talk about a Department of Peace, oftentimes we're talking about a lot of different things. Throughout the history of our country, we have discussed and we have debated over whether or not we should create a Department of Peace, and sometimes we actually succeed in creating something. In 1984, we created the United States Institute of Peace, which is a federal institution that is independent and nonpartisan that seeks to help us develop peaceful solutions to ongoing worldwide problems, and it's a legitimate institution that everyone should support, everyone should get behind, and more people should know about. We should know and celebrate the history of progress that we've made towards the creation of peaceful institutions and institutions that seek to build peace in our country. That said, we are far from where we need to be on this issue because the reality is that a Department of Peace should not be a controversial idea and pragmatically speaking it's an idea that we should have implemented decades if not centuries ago. Additionally, as a policy-oriented peacemaker, I am very well aware of the fact that we should be pushing for this at the state level and not just at the federal level. This needs to be something that governors can get behind and that governors can learn to implement themselves, especially because a lot of the discussions that we have about Departments of Peace focus on the idea of the United States as a international peacemaking force rather than focusing on the idea of using government agencies to build peace in our own home states. And that's probably what we should be focusing on first. We shouldn't be focusing on how we view the world and how the world views us, but on how our own policies and our own government institutions affect ourselves. That is something that should be the central focus of this particular conversation. I am a peacemaker who's going to run for office in the near future, and when I do, I am going to focus heavily on peacemaking, on conflict resolution, and on establishing government agencies and government initiatives that build peace and that build bridges. I'm going to work on approaching different people with different beliefs, and I'm going to ensure that people feel that they can communicate with me about my own ideas openly, and that we can work together to make our societies safer to make them more healthy, and that we can make them more peaceful. 
I have a series of peace-oriented reforms and suggestions in mind that I am working on constantly because I want to make them sharper. And one of them is a Department of Peace. I am very excited to hear politicians talking about these ideas and advocating for these ideas once again. I am also encouraged by the fact that our country has a long history of discussing these ideas and of wanting to make them happen, even if at the end of the day we can never seem to get it done, because it's not a new idea. And the fact that this is not a new idea should be seen as encouragement to people who want to build peace, regardless of our political beliefs, our religious beliefs, or our social beliefs. Peace is important, and Departments of Peace are one critical component that can help us push closer and closer to our ideal vision of a more peaceful society. And not a negative peace where there is just an absence of direct conflict, but an actual positive and life-affirming peace where conflicts can actually be dealt with non-violently and where disagreements can be resolved effectively. As I end this video, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that former Alaska Senator Mike Gravel, who is one of the people in the Democratic primary, wants to establish a Department of Peace. Now, his particular conception of a Department of Peace is not quite the same as mine, but I'm very excited to see more prominent politicians advocating for this and talking about it, especially as his campaign starts to get off the ground. His campaign's a little bit special, and if you don't know who he is, once you look him up, you'll undoubtedly understand what I mean by that. But regardless of that, he is someone whose ideas deserve to be taken seriously, especially this one. And I am going to be putting in a link to his campaign website, especially the section that talks about this idea in the description of this video, so that way other people can go and see it. But I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think of a Department of Peace, whether or not you knew that this was an idea that had a history in this country. Just tell me what you think. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you real soon.